Welcome to Sun Prairie, and thank you all for coming out today. I'm Ian Ackley, a student here at Sun Prairie High School. We are excited to host our state leaders to talk about a topic that's very important to us here at the high school, driving safely. I'm a sophomore here at Sun Prairie High School. I participate on the football and basketball team, as well as in a youth group in the local church. I'm excited to get my driver's license in early January. I know that driving comes with a privilege with great responsibility on the roads. So here at Sunbury High School, we have great sports teams and activities and clubs, including our football team has a chance to clinch conference with a win against Verona tonight. And we are lucky to have a great driver's education program right here on our campus to help train the next generation of drivers in Sun Prairie. That's why the school is looking forward to this new opportunity to partner with the state of Wisconsin on a brand new campaign that encourages safe driving for the people of all ages. So now it's an honor of me to invite Lieutenant Governor Mandela Barnes to the podium and explain more about the Buckle Up, Phone Down Challenge. Great, great job, Ian. You are very far ahead of where I was when I was your age. So really, really glad to have you here and so many people from, from the team. And best of luck to you all in clinching the conference. Clinching the conference. Yep. Oh, man. It's awesome. Um, buckle it up, as they say. That's, that was, <laughs> I was supposed to laugh at that. Uh, just want to thank you all for welcoming us to uh, Sun Prairie High School. Again, I'm Mandela Barnes, Lieutenant Governor. Uh, we're here today because the health and safety of people all across the state is our top priority, but unfortunately we know we have issues. We have a problem, and that is of the 593 people who passed away in motor vehicle crashes in Wisconsin in 2020, 177 of them involve drivers or passengers who are not wearing seat belts. We also know that distracted driving is a problem, and we've all seen someone texting while they're driving, and we all know the dangers that it can pose to everyone around them. In 2020, distracted driving contributed to nearly 9,000 crashes and 31 deaths, 31 preventable deaths. And the good news is that these tra tragedies can be prevented. And they can only be prevented with your commitment. Our state is launching a new campaign that challenges everyone in the state to buckle up and put the phone down every trip, every time. So join your friends, join your neighbors by taking the pledge, wear a seatbelt every time you get into the vehicle and never let your phone distract you from driving. You follow these rules with no exception. And we're asking that you make that promise and the that you also challenge other people to do the same thing. The more people that we can get to make that commitment in the state, the more tragedy we can all avoid. Being a safe driver starts at the high school level when many people get their licenses. And the driving habits that you or your friends develop now can stay with you for a lifetime. And these are two that can may very well save your lives. But we know that this is not just an issue for young people. 72% of drivers in distracted driving crashes are above the age of 25. We want all drivers of all ages to buckle up and put the phone down. This challenge will work because when we make a promise in Wisconsin, we take it seriously. When you tell your neighbor, this is what I'm going to do, they believe you're going to follow through. That's exactly who we are. Wisconsin State, Super, excuse me, State Patrol Superintendent Tony Burrell is here to tell us why these two simple actions of buckling up and putting the phone down are so important. So with that being said, I am happy to introduce the State, Super, State Patrol Superintendent, Tony Burrell. Thank you so much. Hello, and thank you, uh, Lieutenant Governor um, Mandela Barnes. I am State Patrol Superintendent Tony Burrell, and I'm excited to be here today to talk to you about and help off the kickoff of the uh, Buckle Up, Phone Down campaign. The State Patrol's most important mission is to keep Wisconsin roads safe, and one of the best ways we can achieve that is to raise awareness and the dangers of using cell phone while driving or failing to wear seat belts. The Buckle Up, Phone Down campaign seeks to remind us all that the, among the drivers and front seat passengers, seat belts reduce the risk of death by 45 percent and cut the risk of serious injury by 50 percent. Seat belts keep drivers and passengers in the vehicle during a crash. People not wearing a seat belt are 30 times more likely to be thrown from a vehicle during a crash. Distracted driving has been, a dangerous, for, has been, has been dangerous for a long time, but that danger has increased thanks to the, one of the biggest distractions of, our, of all, our cell phones. 
It is. It was before smartphones, but I remember re, uh, the first fatal crash that I responded to back in the early uh, 90s as a young trooper, and it was in St. Croix County when a young, a young fam or family was traveling down the interstate on I-94, and uh, the driver uh, was distracted by reaching for some food and ran into the rear end of a semi unit, and unfortunately, the um, the driver, the driver survived, but unfortunately, the mother and a daughter did not survive. But another incident I, I responded to shows the, the, how seatbelts can change the outcome of a crash. A couple were on their way to the Twin Cities driving on 94 in the snowy weather. The driver lost control of the vehicle and it rolled several times. Both were wearing their seatbelts, which absolutely saved their lives. Those memories are still with me all these years later because incidents these incidents show the importance of seatbelt use. These stories are especially tragic when they involve young people, like the 16-year-old who was looking at his cell phone while driving and he ran his car off the road. Even though the airbags deployed, he was still ejected and critically injured because he wasn't wearing his seatbelt. Or the young woman who was playing, on the, uh, playing a game on her phone while driving outside Wisconsin Rapids when she struck a motorcycle, killing both the driver and the passenger. What makes all of these incidents so tragic is that they could have been a prevented. Many of us are used to being in the vehicle that we feel safe and forget about the terrible destruction that, one, that can occur from just a moment's inattention. The Buckle Up Phone Down campaign is a great way to remind drivers, young and old, that they too can do two simple things when they get behind the wheel of a vehicle that may save their lives. Buckle your seatbelt and make sure everyone in the vehicle with you is wearing one too, and put your cell phones away where you aren't tempted to look at it. Now it is my pleasure to introduce to you Secretary of the Wisconsin Department of Transportation, Craig, Craig Thompson, to tell us all about the Buckle Up campaign, Buckle Up Phone Down campaign. Thank you, Superintendent. <clears throat> Thank you for reminding us why the, the DOT Buckle Up Phone Down campaign is so important. Quite simply, it's about saving lives of hundreds of Wisconsinites every year. Thank you, Lieutenant Governor Barnes, for being here to help us launch this challenge today. We appreciate the support from the Sun Prairie School and the first responders who are with us here today. And I'd also like to recognize State Representative Gary Hebel and State Senator Melissa Agard for all the support that they've given in helping us to try to do this to make Wisconsin roads safer. We know from experience that, that, that states that the Buckle Up Phone Down program works. Missouri launched the first Buckle Up Phone Down uh, campaign back in 2017. More than 10,000 people and businesses accepted the Buckle Up Phone Down challenge. Two years later, Seatbelt use in that state increased by 6.3%. Today, the campaign has spread to over six states, including ours now, and with 12 more considering the campaign. Even though the message is pu often put forward in a light-hearted, fun way, it is serious about confronting two of the top ways that can pe people can save lives on the road. Lieutenant Governor talked about the amount of lives we lost last year uh, on Wisconsin roads, all of them preventable. Uh, I will tell you, uh, we look at every single day. As of today in Wisconsin, 481 people have lost their lives, and these are preventable. And behind those 481, every single one of them are stories that, that, that have family members and loved ones attached to them, like the superintendent was talking about. To make Buckle Up Phone Down successful in Wisconsin, we need you. We need thousands of individuals, businesses, organizations, schools, and municipalities all over the state to join us in committing to saving lives by taking the Buckle Up Phone Down pledge and then spreading the word. When organizations and businesses take the challenge, they're doing more than helping to keep their own members and employees safe on the road. They're demonstrating their commitment to the health and well-being of their communities and to all the people in Wisconsin. It's easy to take the Buckle Up Phone Down challenge. First, take the challenge yourself. Go to the Buckle Up Phone Down webpage and sign up. While you're there, you can learn more about the dangers of texting while driving and not wearing seat belts. Let's make the Buckle Up phone, phone Down Challenge go viral. Take a picture showing the right, right thumb up, left thumb down. I have trouble sometimes. 
uh, and then post it on your social media accounts and encourage your friends and followers to do the same. I especially encourage all the young people to take the challenge. I know you're savvy about social media, and you can do a lot to spread the word about staying safe on the road. And it's a great opportunity to remind your parents as well and other adults in your life to put on their seatbelts and put their phones away too. So let's get started right away. I'll challenge the Sun Prairie School students here today, as well as Lieutenant Governor and Superintendent Barnes, will you accept the buckle up phone down challenge? Yes. All right, then uh, I'm gonna, if we can get together here, I wanna take the picture. And now, it's time to make this all official. So with that, Lieutenant Governor. All right. Thanks so much, uh, Secretary Thompson. Uh, and to help this important safety campaign become a movement throughout the entire state of Wisconsin, Governor Evers has uh, issued an official proclamation. Oh, look at that, right there. <laughs> Governor Evers has proclaimed today, October 15, 2021, as Buckle Up, Phone Down Day, all throughout the entire state of Wisconsin and commends this observance to all of our state's residents. So with that, just wanna thank you, Governor Evers, for recognizing this important day, recognizing this important effort. Wanna thank everybody uh, for being here. And don't forget, Buckle Up, Phone Down. Now we have time for a couple questions, if there are any. In terms of the phone down, is there any distinction safety-wise with having the phone connected uh, with Bluetooth or USB? Do you just want the phones off or? Again, as we mentioned before, distractions such as uh, cell phones have been prevalent. Even though you've got all the advancements of technology in our, in our cars today, hands-free and all, we would still prefer because there are some times when we forget that we've got the hands free and we will inadvertently go to that phone and there's a distraction there. So we would ask that you eliminate the, the, cell, the cell phones altogether and any distractions that you may have in your vehicle. 